guys, so right behind me we have the brand new 2018 Volvo XC60 T8 R design. Today we're going to do a one day test drive on Volvo's brand new luxury compact SUV. Before we start off, I want to give a special thanks to my local Volvo dealer, Friedenberg, for lending me this XC60 T8 R design for the day. You guys are awesome, and if you guys want to check them out, there's a link in the description down below. Before we set off, I want to talk to you guys about the exterior styling on the brand new Volvo XC60, especially in this trim, the R design. I think they've just nailed it and hit it out of the ballpark because the exterior styling is almost perfect in my opinion. I like the R design details such as the blacked out grille, the satin chrome finishing around the windows and on the mirrors and around the grille. Those details just complete the sporty yet aggressive and elegant look. The Thor Summer LED lights that now extend all the way to the grille finish a cool and nice front end making this more distinct and different from the 90 series cars. Even the rear I really like with the taillights now extending all the way into the license plate holder. Looking at the car in profile you see it's lower, a bit more sporty than both the old car and the new XC90. But the big selling point of the XC60 is this interior because they've taken the 90 series style of interior and made it smaller but still kept the quality, the design, the materials and the elegantness. This interior is second to none and the best in this price point. It's better than Mercedes, Audi and what BMW are doing now. So this interior without a doubt is the best in the segment and just a pleasant, nice, luxurious place to spend time. Once on the move, you guys are hearing an 87 horsepower electric motor powering the rear wheels. In the center tunnel between the axles, we have a battery pack giving this car about a 14 mile pure electric range. A full charge is done in about two and a half hours from a 240 volt outlet. But this is a hybrid, so out front we have a gas engine which is both turbocharged and supercharged, a two liter four cylinder with 320 horsepower combined. This powertrain package has 407 horsepower propelling this car from 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. This is one quick car. The performance of this car is quite amazing. In the middle of the city, on cobblestone covered streets, broken pavement, potholes, you name it, the ride on this XC60 is superb, almost sublime, especially this car riding on 21 inch wheels, the ride is quite impressive. The S90, the V90 has a bit better ride because on this car you do feel the harshest of impacts through the suspension and through the seat into the cabin. You don't have that on the S90 but still I'm nitpicking because there I just went over a rough and large pothole and this ride is really impressive because this car has a large battery pack in the center tunnel between the front and rear axles down low in the cabin. The center of gravity is in the center of the car and down low giving this car good neutral and natural handling. On a twisty road the handling is very impressive but also in city driving and on the road in general the car just feels buttoned down more so than a gas powered version of the XC60. The steering in this XC60 is much better than on the T5 I drove a while back. It weights up nicely, has nice weighting even in its lightest setting. So I'm glad to see that that works better in this car than in the previous XC60 I drove. Lastly, 
finally guys, the new XC60 is packed to the brim in the latest tech. From an awesome 360 camera to semi-autonomous driving from pilot assist to automatic emergency braking, large animal detection to the digital gauge cluster and census infotainment system. I have a separate video up there in the right corner on the latest tech and features on the new Volvos. Please check that out if you want to see it more in detail. The new XC60 is still awesome in T8 R design form. I think the T8 brings a lot to the table. 14 miles electric range on pure electricity, 407 horsepower, and the refinement of an electric motor. And that battery pack down below, that low center of gravity, gives this car a feeling of solidity and good handling that you won't find in a diesel version or a gas version. I like the size of it and the interior and exterior are just awesome and mind-blowing. I really really like this car and if you can afford to get the T8 I would highly recommend it. So guys hope you like this test drive. If you did please give me a thumbs up down below and for more car content please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye. Shooting from